Hi everyone and welcome to weekly vlog 16 I want to say. I messed up the weekly vlogs, um, not last week but it was last week for me. No, I'm confused. Basically at the beginning of weekly vlog 14 I put weekly vlog 15 on the actual YouTube footage and once it's uploaded to YouTube there's nothing I can do about that. So last week was 15, the week before was 14 and this is weekly vlog 16 I'm pretty sure. So it's Monday uh, the 22nd I want to say of May. I was supposed to go around my sister's but I had to edit the weekly vlog and get it up um, and I didn't want to not do that because I did promise that once I finished uni that I wouldn't be uploading my weekly vlogs late. So by the time I got that done it was getting on a bit for us to go around my sisters um, because she wants some help with like organising the baby's room and stuff because my sister's pregnant and she is due very soon. Um, things are happening now that kind of indicate that the baby is on its way. She's not actually due for another four weeks but we do think he might come a bit early. Um, he is quite big. I know big babies can go full term but there's just been indications that he's coming earlier. So I was going to go round but um, I was going to go around with my nana and she was kind of like why don't we go around tomorrow as well like for the full day because I was a bit busy today and so was she so I'm going around with my sisters tomorrow. Today I spent the morning editing my weekly vlog and I scheduled it and it went up at six o'clock. It's quarter past six now so I'm so happy that the first week after finishing uni that got edited and went up on time. I was really happy with that so... Hopefully I can continue with that. And then I spent the rest of the day going over the house. If you've been watching for a couple of weeks, you will probably have caught on that I'm a bit of a neat freak and I like my house to be tidy. And I kind of put off tidying a little bit of it last week because I was trying to catch up on things from being at uni and being busy. So I spent the rest of the afternoon kind of going over the house. And then I've just had a bath and got ready and put a little tiny bit of makeup on because um, my friend Jamie who came over last night, so at the end of last week's vlog, is coming over again tonight with his girlfriend Beth um, because he's building me a computer because I need a new computer and editing system because I want to take YouTube seriously and the one I've got is an absolute joke. I'm surprised I managed to edit it and upload it before like six o'clock and schedule the day. I don't know how that happened but I'm glad it did. So he's coming over and um, Matthew's making like a dinner for us all and we're just gonna kind of hang out and make the well we're still ordering the parts for the computer so that's what we're gonna do. We're just probably gonna I don't know we might stick a movie on I don't really know but we're just gonna hang out and get my computer sorted. Um so that's what I'm doing for the rest of the night. So I feel like I've had a productive day. Got my video up tidied over the whole house like it wasn't that messy so I was able to do the whole house in the amount of time I just needed to go over a couple of things like get the hoover around and stuff and now I'm gonna try and finish getting this computer parts ordered. So today is a very important day. Today is actually the rabbit's third birthday bless him so much. Um, I put like a little thing out of like strawberry uh, like tops so like the green bits and like a little extra piece of banana this morning for him bless him. And I've been giving him lots of cuddles. I mean, he gets lots of cuddles anyway, but I've just been making a fuss of him. You probably think it's stupid because he doesn't know it's his birthday, but I like to make the effort. Matthew's just got in and he's making the dinner. Um, so I'm going to go downstairs and chill for a bit because I have been tidying for a couple of hours and I'm pretty wiped. Um, but I'm, I'm, I am just going to be sat down when my friends come over. So yeah, I'm just going to go and chill downstairs and wait for them to come over. And then we're going to have food and hang out and hopefully get my computer ordered. If anything interesting happens, I will show you but we are just kind of hanging out and stuff so yeah I'll try and show you otherwise I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow although I am going to say now that I'm at my sister's all day tomorrow and last week when that happened um, I didn't film because it's her house and she's pregnant she doesn't really want the camera on her and stuff so if I don't catch up with you tomorrow then on Wednesday me and Matthew are going to a really cool event we are going to a um, Barbarito event have a look around Barbarito in um, Metro Centre if you guys watch for a while now you'll know that I go to Barbarito all the time. I love Barbarito so when they invited me to go around and have a look around the store and we're going to make burritos and we'll get to eat the burritos which is the best part. So yeah we're doing that on Wednesday morning me and Matthew so I'm really excited for that. But I'm going to head downstairs because I'm starving and I'm knackered and I'll catch you guys when I can. Ah it's the birthday boy! He's sleeping! Ah he's done lots of sleeping today though. Yeah. He's three, he's getting old. Go back to beepers. This is Matthew Cam with Sarah. Um, signing out because she's knackered. <laughs> night night Sarah. Night night. Bye. Bye. See you next time. It's only day one of the week. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.
Bye. Bye. Hey guys, it's a Wednesday. Um, I think the last time I spoke to you properly was last night. Um, how is it Wednesday? It's Tuesday, my bad, it's Tuesday, right? Okay, it's Tuesday. I spoke to you last yesterday, started the vlog, yep, yeah, okay, I'm with it. Um, my friends came over, Jamie and Beth. I didn't record at all, don't know why, seriously do not know why. Like they left and I was like I didn't even time lapse it so I apologise about that. We basically just sat um had nachos, um pizza and we watched a horror movie that was rubbish. It was Funhouse Massacre on Netflix. Don't even bother, it was a load of rubbish. Um but importantly my computer parts are ordered and it is on the way so it should arrive in five days and then hopefully it'll get built and everything will get set up and then I just need to figure out how to use my new editing system so the process is on the way we don't have a monitor but we've got everything else so I'm really chuffed that that happened um, so thank you Jamie and Beth for coming over and doing that um, I don't know why I didn't record. I can only apologise. I really don't know why I didn't. They left and I was like, why did I do that? I was so wiped as well um, from tidying yesterday and doing the weekly vlog and stuff that when they did leave, I said to Matthew, like, I need to end, like, today. Like, I need to say goodnight. And then Matthew, I think, bless him, was like, come on, and got the camera out. And I was just so tired lying on the bed like, oh. So that's what that was about if I showed that clip. Um, today I picked up my sister really early to go to the midwife, everything's fine, he's quite a big baby, she's only got a couple of weeks left and he's quite big. We went around a couple of shops but not many this morning because I'm after some things for um, for some DIY videos and she was after a couple of things um, and we got like a subway, we went back to hers. I didn't record while I was at hers because it's her house so I need to respect that. Um, I just spent a bit of time um, organising one of our rooms for her again just because I want to make everything nice for her for when the baby comes because she can't do it. And I've just left hers now, it's quarter past five. Um, I've come to B&Q because I still need a couple more things for a DIY and I really need to get these videos recorded and get things rolling. After being here I'm going to head to my nana's because I've got to pick some things up then I'm going to go home and I think Matthew's going to make the dinner and I'm just going to kind of sit and do interesting things for me on the laptop but boring for you guys to watch. Yeah I'm going to go into being here though because this car is like an oven and I'll catch you guys when I can. So I got three spray paints. I got two earlier when I went to Wilkinson with my sister but they only had a couple of colours in in Wilkinson and I need quite a few colours. So unfortunately I had to pay £9 for these, but this is the only like lilac that I've seen anywhere. So that was £9, which is really annoying, but never mind. Um, I've never seen this green anywhere else either. It's always like dark greens. So I got a green and that was £9. I didn't want to pay another 9 for the blue. And Wilkinson was that size and £4, but they'd ran out of blue. And I really want to do it in the next couple of days. So I got this and this was 4 50 um, so I've got another one that size and like these sizes in pink and yellow and they were 4 50 from Wilkinson uh, And yeah, I've had to get a small blue So that's kind of annoying because if Wilkinson hadn't run out I would have a one this size for four pound that was blue But I don't think I'm gonna get to another Wilkinson before I do my DIY video But I've got all the colors I need I spent a small fortune, but we got there in the end um yeah, I would have liked a bigger blue, but it's the only one they had, and I didn't want to pay £9 for a big blue, so I hope this DIY works and I didn't just waste my money. So I hope it's not too dark in here, but I'm actually back home now. Um, so the last time I spoke to you, I think I was in the car, and I had gone to B&Q to get some more spray paints um, for a DIY that I think I'm going to do on Thursday. Um, I wanted to have them done before Thursday, but I can't do any videos until I dye my hair, because it's just really faded and I don't really want to do main videos. When my hair's dyed, I don't know, I'm being weird. But I went to me Nana's um, to pick up some things and when I got there, she literally made me like a proper like dinner with like gravy and everything, like it was great. And I was like, whoa, like it was it was actually really great timing because there wasn't a lot of food in my sister's house today and I kind of needed like a proper meal. So 
Matthew wasn't going to be home when I got home and I was knackered so I was going to have to make something so the fact that she just made my dinner was like perfect timing it was actually ready when I got there like she was dishing it up so I was like oh thank god so I had my dinner at my nana's and I was actually there for a couple of hours because she made my dinner so I was sat with her for a bit just catching up and having a cup of tea if people wonder why I'm so obsessed with tea it's probably from me nana because me nana's obsessed with tea like mm, is she worse than me I don't know like I'm pretty bad but me nana's obsessed too so I've gotten home, I'm absolutely exhausted and I've got an event, like blogger event type thing in the morning. I'm so looking forward to it but I'm, I'm a bit worried because I've spent a lot of time with my sisters today. So normally I have the next day resting. It's first thing in the morning so me and Matthew are going to go to it. And then I guess I'll probably just come home. Um, Matthew has an exam the next day anyway so like he was just saying as well it would be nice to have the whole day at Metro Centre together. Um, it would be and we will have a few hours there but he does have an exam the next morning so we'll probably come home and then I'll probably just try and um, catch up on things I might try and dye my hair we'll see see how tired I am if I don't oh, I've just got so much to do oh, I've just got so much to do it's better than when it was before uni though like I felt like uni was just getting in the way and it wasn't something I enjoyed so I still have loads to do but at least it's one less thing and now everything's more kind of things that I enjoy. I mean, nobody enjoys doing an assignment, do they? Like, I need to do videos, I need to sort out my Disney business, like, I need to do loads of things, but it's all good things, so I'm not complaining, I'm just very busy. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to, um, I've got myself a cup of tea and a ginger tiffin from Joe last week. Thank you, Joe. I'm just going to get into bed with my tea and I'm going to watch a bit of Once Upon a Time and then I have to get up really early. The event is at half ten at Barbarito. Like, mine and Matthew's favourite place to eat ever. I'm really looking forward to this, I really am. So we've got quite an exciting morning tomorrow, but it is an early start, like, through at Metro Centre. So I'm going to just chill in bed for a bit, and then I'm going to go to sleep. So I will catch you guys for the event in the morning. Good night. Morning, everyone. We are now on our way to the burrito event. As you can see, it is an absolutely gorgeous day. Going in now to Metro Centre to the uh, make burritos which is going to be cool. We've got about 15 minutes to get there so we're not late so I'll see you guys when we get in there.
from the Barbary O event. Oh my god, it was so much fun. Um, I made a burrito. I think um, one of the guys, bless them, that worked there, like filmed us um, making them because me and Matthew had to wash our hands and everything for going behind the till and I wear gloves for making the burritos. So I can't remember his name, but bless him, thank you so much for doing that. Um, it was so good. Like we got to taste all the different food and they were telling us all about like all the different types of food that they do. So they like cater for vegan, vegetarian, um, gluten free. I think they do like halal meat and stuff like that. So honestly, it doesn't matter what your diet requirement is, you can eat there. I go to Barbarito, like if I'm in Metro Centre, I go to Barbarito. Me and Matthew have drove through to Metro Centre before just because we wanted a Barbarito. Um, like I eat a Barbarito every opportunity I get, so I absolutely love it. So I highly recommend going along. And the staff are always so canny and they do student discount. And I like that you can get like a bottomless Coke with it because there's like pieces of lemon. And I know that sounds stupid, but instead of getting dessert, I get like a Coke with a lemon and it's bottomless and it's just it's nice to sit in as well like it's they've got like plants and stuff on this on the wall and stuff it's really interesting like i really like it there so i definitely recommend going there so that was really fun me and matthew had a good laugh and um, there were some really nice girls there that i met at the fashion um event that i went to a couple of weeks ago and the urban decay went as uh, event as well um and i know laura from that who organizes that so she was there as well today so it was nice to see her again so yeah matthew was happy to go along because he loves the burritos and he got to make one as well bless him so it was really fun we really had a good time afterwards i went into primark for a bit i wanted some bits and bobs um for a video and ended up spending too much in there it's not as good as the newcastle primark i think i've said that a few times but i still had a good look around i had a quick look in disney store just to see if they had the new cups in but they didn't um so I had a quick look in there and then Matthew has an exam tomorrow so we had to come back um it's quarter to three now we got back about 20 minutes ago so Matthew needs to revise because he's got an exam in the morning which is a shame because we could have been at Metro but if he's got an exam he's got an exam so it's a really really nice day so I'm gonna sit outside Um, I can't get my eyes open actually I'm so tired from getting up like it wasn't even that early but because I was helping my sister all day yesterday Today should have really been a chill day. So with me getting up early and then like the event and then going in like two shops. Honestly, like I could nap right now. Like I think I am gonna. I think I'm gonna have this burrito. I didn't even eat my burrito. I was so full from all the testing. So I've still got my burrito. So I think I'm gonna eat this. And then I think I'm gonna lie down for half an hour. And it's nice that I can do that as well and not worry about that I should be doing something. Like I do have a lot on, but I think I'm actually just gonna gonna chill out for the rest of the afternoon. Um, I might do some things later on my laptop and stuff, but I just can't keep my eyes open. But it was really fun to chill out for a bit and have this burrito. And yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. everybody hey night it's thursday um i look disgusting i've got no makeup on my hair's a greasy mess i'm in my pajamas yep um i should have dyed my hair already by now but i spent most of the morning looking at cameras so i'm gonna dye my hair and then i'm gonna get some videos recorded okay we're gonna go and dye my hair and then we are gonna see where i am with tiredness and hopefully record a DIY video. Okay guys, it's been a couple of hours since I spoke to you. I've actually dyed my hair, as you can probably see. I'm in a bit of a rush. It took longer to dye my hair than I thought it would. I didn't actually do the purple right. Um, it should be darker and higher up the hair. So I'm probably just gonna have to go over that next week, but never mind, it's okay for now. So I've started my DIY video. That's why I'm in this room. I've got like the lights and everything set up. I hope it's not too bright and you can see me. This DIY is going so wrong. Like I have loads of different types of glue and nothing is gluing everything together. I think I finally managed to get everything to glue down. Ugh, honestly, I'm just so stressed right now. <laughs> It's not going to plan, but I think I've managed to get everything to stick and I've recorded like the intro and what I'm doing. So I'm now going to take everything outside and start spray painting. That's going to take a couple of hours, so I need to hurry up or I'm going to lose the light. I'm lucky that my uh, that the sun is in the back garden like on an evening, so I'm going to quickly go outside, spray paint these, record myself doing it, come back upstairs, finish off the tutorial, 
And then I'm going to try to edit it and get it up. Probably tomorrow now. And then I'm going to record a load of other videos tomorrow. I'm so warm. I'm sweating. Today and tomorrow is like the hottest days for a long time and will be for some time coming. And I'm spending it inside recording and tomorrow inside recording. But never mind, you know, I want to get these tutorials and hauls done. Like, I enjoy doing them. I'm a bit stressed though because honestly, when you see this DIY, I don't know how I'm going to edit it, but I've just had a right nightmare trying to get everything to glue together. It's unbelievable. I wasn't expecting that. I thought a hot glue gun would just work on everything, but apparently not. So anyway, I'm going to go outside now and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So guys, it's been a few hours since I last spoke to you. I have managed to completely spray and do what I was doing outside and um, my DIY tutorial is now all recorded apart from I just need to take some pictures for the thumbnail and for Instagram and I want to do some like video close-ups of them all but it's quite dark Um, I mean I've got my lighting on in here but to be honest I'm just tired and I don't need makeup on to do close-ups of the things so I'm just going to put these around the house and I'm going to do close-ups and videos and pictures of them all tomorrow because I'm very tired Dyeing my hair is normally something that I would do and then not really manage to do something else for the rest of the day. The last DIY killed me. So honestly, this DIY, like, I've sat for an hour before I've come back upstairs to do the outro of the video because I'm so tired. Um, and Matthew's coming and he's making the dinner now. So I'm really, really chuffed with how they've turned out. I will show you them because by the time you watch this, this DIY tutorial should be up. So I'll show you what I've done for anyone that hasn't seen the video. Go and check it out because I'm really happy with them and I can't wait to put them around my house. Then I'm going to do more videos tomorrow or I might have to rest and have a bit of an admin day because I've been feeling it the last couple of days and I really don't want to relapse right now. So I will show you these and I'm going to go downstairs and chill and see what happens tomorrow. So this is what I made. How amazing are they? So this is my tea, coffee and sugar things from my kitchen. I bought them a while ago in mint because like I said I'm trying to do my house like pastel colours and a bit like candy, like a bit like kind of kawaii if you want to call it that. And I've had this idea in my head honestly for so long. Like I bought these princesses months ago. I can't even tell you how long I bought them for like ago. I've had these plates ready. Honestly I've had them ready for so long. Like that jar there I've had since like the end of last year ready to do this DIY. I've just been waiting for the time to do it. Like that rose took me like a whole day of recording and stuff. So then editing and putting it up. I mean it was so worth it though. Like the views on that is unreal. And the amount of people that have sent me videos and pictures of their ones of them that they have built from watching my tutorial. It's such a great feeling that you actually are able to use my tutorials and it's not just me making a numpty of myself so that is so nice if you've made one then let me see what it looks like or if you haven't seen it go and check out that tutorial because I'm really proud of it like yes I made that so yeah I made these so this is my tea coffee and sugar I think it goes great with the green these are like um ring and like jewelry kind of plates but you could use them on your desk for like other things as well like USB like sticks and just like I don't know just anything really that's like a clear jar so you could put like cotton pads and stuff in there and this is my sweetie jar that I bought actually just the other week um, and I wanted Ariel in my kitchen with the purple so that's going in my kitchen too so yeah I've just done these and I'm so chuffed so I'm going to go and put them around the house and then I'm going to have to sit down and chill for the rest of the evening so I'll probably get back to you guys tomorrow now because me and Matthew are just going to make dinner Um, I'll see how I feel tomorrow I'll see you guys in the morning good morning everybody I am just in the queue for the Irregular Choice Mickey and Minnie collection. Look at all of these shoes. I want all of them so bad. But I think I'm going to try and go for these sandals. And possibly these, but I don't think so. Because I don't get as much use out of heels. So probably this bag and those sandals. So I'm just in the queue. It starts at 12. I assume this is how the queue works. Hopefully it'll be okay. So wish me luck. So I have been queuing since half eleven and I'm really annoyed because I'm this far back in the queue and I know a lot of people are already a lot further ahead than that and they clicked on the website like two minutes before twelve and I started on the website at half eleven. So this always happens to me, it's so annoying. Like I generally really want to buy a couple of things from the collection. So I hope they're still there when I get through but apparently I'm going to be waiting more than an hour. So I'm guessing everything's going to be gone by that time. The weird thing is as well is that I loaded up the website on my laptop at half eleven and that was my place and then about ten to I thought I'll just open my tablet in case and I'm further along the queue on my tablet 
So I kind of wish I'd just opened it up on my phone as well and seen if that helped get any closer. But never mind, this is my life for the next hour. Hopefully I'll get everything I want. <laughs> By the way, it's Friday. I don't even know if I mentioned that, but it's Friday. And, interestingly, my sister went into labour this morning. Half five in the morning she went into labour. So we're just waiting for updates. Um, She's not very far through yet. She's still only two centimetres dilated, so she's got a while to go, bless her. Hey guys! I have a bit of explaining to do. It's actually Sunday. Um, I haven't been very well the last few days, so after I recorded that DIY, I had been feeling a little bit funny those few days anyway, leading up to the day I did the DIY. And then when I did the DIY, like, it unbelievably wiped me. Like, I'm so glad that I did it, because it meant I, I got a video up this week, but... It's now Sunday and there's no way I can record another video, so I know I promised that I was going to get two videos up, but honestly, my ME is trying to relapse so bad. So I think I spoke to you on Friday and I was saying that I was buying the irregular choice bag and that my sister had gone into labour. I got the irregular choice bag, so no worries there. And my sister had a baby, um, he was born... On Friday lunchtime, he is premature, so she's still in the hospital. So I wasn't very well on Friday. I woke up just feeling really crappy. Like after the tutorial on Thursday, I was in bed straight away. And then Friday, I was just, to be honest, I didn't have a great start to the day because I didn't feel good. And it's, I spent from six o'clock in the morning. It's like I knew that my sister had gone into labor, actually. It was weird. I woke up bang on like six o'clock and I looked at my phone and I had a text from my eight minutes earlier saying she'd gone into labor. So I was like, whoa, like I must have known to wake up. So that was pretty weird. So I got up and started editing my video because I couldn't get back to sleep. I wasn't well and I was worried about my sister. And then I was editing my DIY video and it took till four o'clock in the afternoon. So that really annoyed me and just, I, it was not the day I needed. Like I was, tr like my ME was trying to relapse. So that really annoyed me. I can't wait to get this new editing system built because it's just getting ridiculous now. Uh, but from four o'clock till eight o'clock, it was a really gorgeous day. So I lay in the garden with Matthew and it was really nice. And then we watched a movie. Uh, we watched a weird horror movie called Heidi, which is like, a cheap remake slightly paranormal activity version of Annabelle if you've seen that it's on Amazon it's all right it's worth a watch the ending's freaky then on Saturday I still didn't feel great so I was but I really wanted to visit my sister because she's staying in the hospital for a couple of days and um, they're all right like there's been a couple of little things but he's all right like really uh, so I went and visited my sister. I didn't want to take my camera into the hospital with me, obviously, because she just had a baby and, well, I'm sure you can appreciate that. And then when we left the hospital, we're like, oh, we'll walk into town and get some food. I left my camera in the car because I didn't think we'd be walking into town and I didn't take the, car the camera into the hospital with me. So I left the camera in the car. But all we did in town is look for a camera and a monitor for my new computer which wasn't very interesting. But we did have afternoon tea um, in the vegan cafe that I went to a couple of weeks back, if you've been watching me for that long, the one that I walked to and nearly killed myself doing. We literally came back after food and I got into bed. I felt so ill. I was stood in a shop and I was just like, I need to go home. I need to go home right now. Like, I just felt terrible. So we'd even bought a game to play on together, me and Matthew, on the PlayStation. We bought Star Wars Battlefront and he played on it and I was in bed all night. Didn't feel good. Um, I still don't feel great today, so it's now Sunday, so I was supposed to go and visit my sister today, but honestly I, don't, I still don't feel good, I just feel so ill. I probably seem okay in myself because I have been sat in the house all day and it's not a full relapse yet and I hope it doesn't get to that. So I'm trying to chill, but I've got so much to do, I can't just do nothing. So I've been on the laptop all morning, it's now like four o'clock. I've got so much done though today, I've got so much done, it's great. The computer has come and my friend Jamie is coming around any minute now to build it, so computer is on the way guys, it shouldn't take me so long to edit stuff now. Uh, my camera that I wanted went back in stock this morning, so I ordered it. Hopefully it'll come by Wednesday. It is a bank holiday, so I'm hoping it'll come by Wednesday because on Thursday me and Matthew are going to London and I really want to take my new camera. So I ordered like a new tripod, a new case, a new memory like disc, like all sorts. Um, I started designing a new logo for my YouTube. Um, I'm currently designing a business card. I bought a domain for my blog. My blog is now sarahlouisepod.com. I am so chuffed that it is finally like that. 
I had to work out how to set it up myself, uh, which took a little while, but that's now all done. So I've been really productive and I've got loads done, so I'm really chuffed. But I need to finish up this business card that I'm designing so I can just chill for the rest of the night with Matthew because I really don't want to relapse before London. So mentally, I'm just like, come on, let's do this, but my body's just like, no. And it's just really frustrating. But never mind, so... I'll quickly show you um, a package that came from Jo uh, Magical Dreams Inc who sent me the shoes a couple of weeks ago and the cap last week. She was really naughty and sent me a surprise package and I feel better last night I opened it so I'm sorry I didn't open it on camera but I'll show you them because honestly I think this is the fav my favourite thing she's ever sent me. I wasn't expecting them, I didn't know she was doing them for us and I absolutely love them. So you'll have to excuse that the bed is not made but how amazing are these so Jo sent me the rapunzel mulan shoes a couple of weeks ago and she sent me the villains cap last week and then she said she was sending me a surprise and she sent me these like Jo, like seriously you're gonna have to stop now like you're spoiling me so much like i feel terrible but these are my favorite like i love these so much these are definitely my favorite and i didn't even know anything about these ones so it says ariel there it's got ariel there looking fabulous and it's got flounder there and it says flounder on the back and oh my god I absolutely adore them and they're so comfy as well I've never wore shoes like this before uh, I think these are called flossies admittedly I don't actually like flossies but these don't look like flossies so they're either not or it's because they're painted fabulously so I actually love these like oh my god they're so great so yeah just thought I'd show you a couple of things. What is my hair doing? But um, yeah, uh, Jamie's coming over to build the computer and I'm just going to sit and watch him do it and do some more things on the computer. Um, I'm really sorry, it's just kind of come to an abrupt ending and missed out a couple of days, but I'm just, I just don't want to push myself, like I really don't feel good. See you in my next week's vlog. Um, I think I'm going to do a separate one for London, which means that next week's vlog will be um, a bit smaller, but there will be like a separate London vlog. Um, just because that I asked and that's what most people said and um, that they wanted to see uh, on the last week's weekly vlog so I will be recording a separate London one hopefully on my new camera so that's going to be good but yeah thanks again guys for joining me this week I hope it was interesting and thank you all for the lovely messages that I've been getting and you guys are the best and for everyone that said happy birthday to the rabbit and everyone that wished my sister like well with her baby like honestly you guys are amazing but yeah, I'm going to go because I'm knackered and <laughs> I'm getting really tired. But yeah, I'll see you in my next weekly vlog or next video whenever I see you guys. Bye guys!